and it's 9 and 8.1 and so on, but it progressively slows down as it decreases and reaches the value of 0. As my mouse leaves the movie clip, the values start becoming negative. As I said before, the reason is very simple. The reason is this. My starting width is now smaller than my current width. And as long as that is true, the value that I get out of the equation is always negative. So if I use a negative value to increment the width of my circle, of my movie clip, it's always going to be a reduction. A negative value produces a reduction. A positive value will produce an increment. I'm going to just comment these traces there. Sorry. Also, the reason why this animation works so smoothly is the fact that as the mouse goes over the movie clip, we remove the event listener that corresponds to the mouse that leaves the movie clip. Vice versa, when the mouse leaves the movie clip, we remove the event listener that corresponds to the mouse when it enters the movie clip. So basically, we are cleaning out the code as we go along. And it being light and clean, runs, it runs really, really fast. OK, but that is being done at this level. It is not being done at this level here. In our previous example, we did that at this level too. So we're going to repeat that same example. We're going to say, if the distance, which is the difference between where we are and where we should be, is less than or equal to 0 0.5. So basically what we are saying is that the distance between the starting point and the ending point is 90.